When contemplating the pantheon of rock and roll greats, few musicians provoked a degree of reverence and awe as the legendary Jimi Hendrix. His unparalleled skill and revolutionary approach to the guitar have placed him at the forefront of discussions about the greatest guitarists of all time. But does he truly occupy the pinnacle? Is Jimi Hendrix the best guitar player ever? The question is, of course, subjective. Musical taste is as varied as the people who listen to it, and defining the best in music often comes down to personal preference. However, when we assess the impact, influence, and technical prowess of a guitarist, it's hard to overlook the monumental contributions of Jimi Hendrix. Hendrix's guitar playing was not just innovative, it was transformative. His uncanny ability to blend rhythm and lead guitar techniques set a new standard in rock music. Hendrix was a master of using distortion and feedback as compositional elements, and his virtuosic use of the whammy bar gave his music a distinct, expressive quality that is still widely emulated. In Purple Haze, Hendrix's use of the tritone interval, historically known as the Devil's Interval, created an unsettling, psychedelic vibe that has become a staple of rock music. His performance of the Star Spangled Banner at Woodstock, fraught with distortion and feedback, transformed the national anthem into a powerful commentary on the Vietnam War. Comparatively, while many guitarists such as Eric Clapton and Jimmy Page have shown exceptional skill and contributed significantly to rock music, their styles did not redefine guitar playing in the way Hendrix did. His style was more experimental and boundary-pushing, incorporating elements from blues, R&B, and psychedelic rock to create a sound uniquely his own. While primarily known as a guitar player, Hendrix was also an adept bass guitarist. In fact, he played bass on many of his own recordings. On All Along the Watchtower, for instance, it's Hendrix playing that solid, driving bass line that supports his soaring lead guitar. And on Bold as Love, Hendrix's bass playing showcases his ability to provide a groove-oriented, solid foundation for a song while still injecting moments of melodic flair. Hendrix's influence on guitar playing can be seen in his innovative techniques. His use of overdriven amplifiers to create sustain was groundbreaking, allowing him to extract a soulful, singing quality from his guitar. He frequently used a wah-wah pedal to alter the tone of his guitar, resulting in a unique, voice-like effect most famously heard on Voodoo Child, Slight Return. He was a pioneer of guitar effects and was known for his ability to coax a wide range of sounds from his instrument, from the sweet, clean tones in Little Wing to the wild, feedback-drenched noise in Foxy Lady. Ranking guitarists is a challenging task, given the number of factors to consider and the inherent subjectivity of music. However, most lists of the greatest guitarists of all time place Jimi Hendrix at the top, or very close to it. Rolling Stone magazine, for example, named Hendrix the greatest guitarist of all time in their 2011 list. His influence, technical skill, and creativity set him apart and continue to inspire musicians worldwide. So, is Jimi Hendrix the best guitar player ever? In terms of influence, innovation, and the ability to draw emotion and a wide range of sounds from his instrument, it's certainly plausible to say yes. But, in the end, the question is best left to each listener's individual judgment and musical taste. What's inarguable is the indelible impact Hendrix has had on the landscape of rock music, an impact that continues to reverberate through the generations.